Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some really mild temperatures this time of year for this morning, seeing temperatures in the 40s. We are seeing those temperatures start to fall as we do have winds switching out of the northwest. You can see temperatures around 46 to 47 degrees early this morning, down to 43 now, and they'll continue to fall as it looks throughout the morning hours into the afternoon hours. We did have some uh, light snowfall yesterday afternoon across the area, especially north and west of uh, Salisbury. I uh, saw a little bit here down at Wallops, but uh, mainly the accumulating snow was uh, north and west of Salisbury towards Cambridge and Easton. Um, did see, as I mentioned, about a trace here at Wallops with that uh, light snowfall falling down. Overall today, we'll see a chance of some precipitation moving through for later this morning into the afternoon hours with an additional upper level disturbance uh, tracking along a boundary off the coast. That's going to give us a chance of some rainfall as well as a, a slight chance of seeing a few sleep pellets mix in for the precipitation ends here at Wallops. But overall, not going to see any accumulation of the sleet and just uh, a little bit of a uh, wintry mix possibly before it ends. Uh, we will see the temperatures fall uh, to being cold with temperatures in the lower 20s overnight tonight. Uh, wind chills near 10 degrees, so we'll see, feel much more like winter uh, by tomorrow morning. So taking a look at our current sounding from this morning, freezing level at 7,800 feet. Winds out of the northeast and low levels around 15 knots. And seeing our winds quickly switch out of the southwest and into the west-southwest throughout the column. And seeing a peak wind out of west-southwest at 101 knots at 25,000 feet this morning. Our current surface analysis, we do have an area of low pressure off to our north and east uh, this morning, as well as another area of low pressure that's going to be moving off the coast for this afternoon, giving us additional chances as rain showers. Uh, we did see a uh, snowstorm uh, first of the season for areas west of Chesapeake Bay uh, overnight last night, as well as during the daytime hours yesterday, seeing uh, some reports around four to five inches in general across the D.C. Baltimore area. So seeing those locations off the north and west that typically do get the snow, did see finally some snow across the region in that area yesterday. And taking a look at our current Radar imagery, you can see we do have some uh, returns off to our north and off to our west this morning, mainly in the form of uh, some wintry mix across that region, seeing some rainfall off to the south and to the west. This uh, area of precipitation will be moving towards our region for this afternoon and giving us that chance of some rainfall uh, for this afternoon. As I mentioned, a slight chance of seeing a few sleep pellets mix in for the precipitation ends. Taking a look at the three kilometer NAM model here, you can see it brings the showers through around one to two o'clock this afternoon and then continues it through about four o'clock uh, later this afternoon with the possibility of those few sleep pellets moving in the region as well. And taking a look at the European model for the next few days, you can see here that area low pressure tracking off to the north and east, giving uh, New England some snowfall uh, for today into tonight. And we'll see that cold air mass move in through for Wednesday, seeing temperatures just above freezing uh, across the region, seeing temperatures in the lower 30s in general uh, for uh, Wednesday with uh, some breezy conditions as well. As we move into our Thursday into Friday, we'll see uh, high pressure move through on Thursday. And then Friday, we'll see an area low pressure develop uh, well off the coast, a uh, fairly strong upper level trough moving through the area. That's going to give us a chance of some snow showers, uh, possibility starting out as rain and switching over to snow by Friday afternoon and Friday evening. Right now, it doesn't look like any accumulation here at Wallops as surface temperatures will be slightly uh, too warm for that to occur, as well as uh, seeing not a lot of precipitation in total with this system. So right now, we're continuing to monitor the area low pressure moving through in the upper level trough for Friday. But right now, it doesn't look like uh, much of the way the snowfall as far as accumulating. We'll see some flakes in the air, but overall, um, most likely won't see any accumulation with this event. And moving to Saturday and to Sunday, uh, much colder conditions across the region for Saturday and Sunday with uh, temperatures in the lower 30s uh, for our Saturday uh, and into Sunday, looking like we'll continue to see those temperatures in the 30s. And we'll start to see temperatures uh, moderate for Monday, as is typical after a uh, Arctic outbreak. Uh, high pressure builds off the coast, and we'll see a uh, warming trend for the beginning of next week. So looking at our uh, risk chart for today, we'll see that high this morning around 46 to 47 degrees and temperatures will continue to fall uh, throughout the day today, uh, seeing temperatures down in the 30s by this afternoon. We'll see the best chance of precipitation uh, afternoon today until about 1500 local and then a slight chance uh, that uh, mixed rain sleet from 15 to 1700 local. 
Our winds will be coming fairly breezy this afternoon, northwest 11 to 16 knots, gusting to 26 to 27 knots. And then overnight, we'll continue to see uh, some northwesterly breezes across the region uh, with the uh, possibility of seeing some gusts around 19 knots tomorrow morning. And with the low around 21 degrees, we'll see wind chills around 10 degrees for tomorrow morning. Our 24 hour terminal forecast is going to see there's low ceilings in the region through at least about 1,500 local today, and then we should see our ceilings start to rise thereafter. And then once we move into the evening hours, should see skies start to clear up, and overnight we'll see mostly clear skies, just a few clouds around 1,500 to 2,000 feet. Looking at a Wednesday and a Thursday, green charts across the board. A Wednesday, mostly sunny and cold. Wind chill values near 10 degrees during the morning, a high of 34 degrees. I should see a wind advisory on uh, Wednesday. I did mention we slightly breezy on Wednesday, and you will definitely feel that wind with the, only the high of 34 degrees. For Wednesday night, mostly clear and partly cloudy, low of 27. And for Thursday, mostly cloudy overcast, high of 45 degrees. So the next seven days, looking at those rain shower chances today, uh, seeing a high of only 34 on Wednesday, back up to 45 on Thursday, and seeing a high around 40 degrees on Friday with some uh, p.m. showers. Uh, looks like a rain to snow shower type system. Uh, not expecting the accumulation this time. We'll see much colder air move in for uh, Saturday morning, a low of 24 degrees. We'll see a possibility of an additional snow shower moving through on Saturday morning uh, with that upper level disturbance uh, pivoting through the region. Uh, overall, going to see uh, wind chills in the 20s to teens on Saturday, so feeling very much like winter on Saturday. And Sunday continued uh, cold temperatures, highs in the, only in the mid-30s, uh, 36 degrees. And then for Monday, as I mentioned, could see start of a warming trend across the region, high of 45 degrees uh, with uh, mostly sunny skies on Monday. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day today. Back tomorrow morning at 15 and 10 a.m.